This exercise is called wall frog reverse presses. You're gonna wanna lay down on the floor and bring your legs up the wall. Scoot your hips all the way in towards the wall. Bring your arms onto the floor at 45 degrees to your body with your palms up. And slide the soles of your feet to touch so that the outer part of your foot and ankle are in contact with the wall. And allow your knees to come apart. So let your legs open up into this frog position here against the wall. Now, if you notice that your tailbone is coming off the floor, what you're going to want to do is scoot your hips, scoot your body back a little bit until your tailbone actually comes down to touch the floor. Now, if you are able to scoot all the way in towards the wall, then that's great. But either way, you just want your tailbone flat. So feel free to scoot back away from the wall if you need to. So for the reverse presses, what we're going to do, what you're going to want to do is bring your arms out directly from your shoulder so that your elbow joint is in a straight line coming out from your shoulder. So line your arms up there on both sides, and then you're going to want your wrist joint coming directly on top of your elbow joint. So just check that really quick. You don't want the wrists out here like this. You also don't want them in here like this. So you want those wrists going directly straight up and down from the shoulder joint. So you're going to want to make a light fist. And now we're in what I'm going to call like a goalpost position. So imagine someone could kick a football through your arms. So it's kind of a silly analogy, but it kind of helps give you a visual of the position that you're going to want your arms to be in here for the reverse presses. So really quick, just recheck, make sure that the soles of your feet are together. The knees are coming apart. Now what you're going to want to do here is you're going to press your shoulder blades together, gently slide them down your back, hold it for a count of one, and release. Press the shoulder blades together, hold it for a count of one, and release. When you're doing this pressing action, where you should feel the muscle contraction is right up here in the upper back and between the shoulder blades. So the softer or more gently you can do this contraction at first, the better. What that's going to do is it's going to help train your body to even begin to get this range of motion that we're going for here with the shoulders. And the contraction is going to become stronger and fuller over time the more that you do these. So press, hold, and release. This is the static wall reverse presses. You're going to want to do a total of three sets of 10 reps. So what that means is you're going to want to do 10 reps, stop, take a little break, get back into the position, do another set of 10, and work up to doing a total of three sets of 10 reps. So that is the wall frog reverse presses. I hope this video was helpful, useful, beneficial. Please click the like button if you haven't already, and subscribe to my channel so that you can keep getting access to really great tips like this one. I look forward to seeing you again in my next video. Bye.